Is the future of AI about to change dramatically? Today, we explore Q learning, a revolutionary approach that might redefine how we think about artificial intelligence. You've probably heard about AI learning from massive data sets, but what if there's a smarter way, a method where AI learns like we do, through experience and adaptation? That's where Q learning comes in, blending classic strategies with innovative technology. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of Q learning and its potential to transform the AI world. OpenAI QSTAR, a powerful AI model under development at OpenAI, is speculated to be a major factor in the November 2023 resignation of CEO Sam Altman. While the exact details remain shrouded in secrecy, several reports offer insight into the potential connection. So, how is it connected to Altman's resignation? The departure of Sam Altman from OpenAI, officially attributed to a breakdown in communication, appears to be intricately linked to the development of QSTAR, with several factors potentially influencing the board's decision. Prior to Altman's dismissal, a group of OpenAI researchers had penned a letter to the board, voicing their concerns about the potential risks and the obscure transparency in QSTAR's development. This letter is believed to have played a significant role in the board's decision to remove Altman. Additionally, there are speculations that Altman's aggressive push for the rapid commercialization of QSTAR, despite these safety concerns, clashed with the board's more cautious stance. This disagreement might have eroded the mutual trust, contributing to Altman's firing. Another factor that might have contributed is the lack of transparency, Reports indicate that Altman may not have been completely forthcoming with the board about QSTAR's potential risks, exacerbating the communication breakdown and undermining the confidence in his leadership. What exactly is OpenAI QSTAR? Q-learning is a type of machine learning used predominantly in reinforcement learning scenarios. It's named after the Q function in mathematics, which represents the quality of a particular action taken in a given state. This method enables an AI agent to learn the best actions to take in varying situations through trial and error, improving its performance over time. The term QAR is likely a blend of Q-learning and A-star search algorithm. The A-star algorithm, a mainstay in computer science, is used for pathfinding and graph traversal, particularly in games and AI for finding the shortest paths between two points. To simplify, Q-learning can be thought of as a process where a robot, or the AI agent, learns from experiences. In the world of Q-learning, imagine an environment that could be anything from a complex video game to a simple maze. Within this environment operates an agent an AI or a computer program designed to navigate through various challenges. Picture this agent as a player in a video game, where every scenario it encounters is a different state, and the choices it has, like moving left or right, are its actions. As the agent progresses, it relies on a crucial tool called the cue table, which functions much like a cheat sheet. Initially filled with mere guesses, this table gradually evolves, recording the outcomes of different actions in various states. Think of it as a learning diary, where the AI records what works and what doesn't. This evolution is central to the agent's learning process as it traverses the environment, earning rewards for successful actions and facing penalties for less effective ones. This learning isn't just about immediate consequences. The AI is programmed to consider long-term outcomes, weighing immediate rewards against potential future gains. Each experience is an opportunity for the AI to refine its strategy, updating the cue table not just with what brings immediate success, but also with actions that promise sustained benefits. In this way, the agent develops a more nuanced understanding of the environment, learning to navigate it with increasing sophistication. For example, if a language model is predominantly trained on texts that contain gender stereotypes, it may unintentionally reinforce these stereotypes in its responses. This could manifest in situations where the AI associates certain professions or activities predominantly with one gender, reflecting the biases present in its training data. From what we've uncovered today, it seems Q-learning isn't just a theoretical concept, but a tangible leap forward. Its ability to adapt, learn dynamically, and tackle specific goals gives it an edge over traditional large language models. 
I personally find the potential of Q-learning to transform industries and solve complex problems both exciting and promising. But the true impact of this technology? That remains to be seen. It's important to consider the potential dangers associated with such advanced AI technology.